Hey guys, I did have other plans for this video, but what with everything going on, I figured I'd put those plans on hold and bring you something way more important. Wow, that was that was stuffy, and now I have now I have lines on my face. Wow, amazing. So my previous video on the CV got demonetized, and YouTube decided not to push it out to anyone. So for those reasons, I'm going to refer to the virus as the CV, just just so you're aware. So given the global lockdown, or near what is nearly a global lockdown, many of you guys will be staying at home, twiddling your fingers, wondering what to do with all your newfound free time. In fact, Steam just hits their record amount of players actively online at once, at over 20 million. So it's obvious what a lot of you guys are getting up to. And I'm sure there are a lot of you guys also doing slightly more useful things, like maybe learning some new hacking skills. In particular, maybe you're doing password cracking. And on that note, there is a way we can help fight the, the sorry, the C, the CV, from password crackers to gamers alike. These two things have one thing in common, and that is that they're both very GPU intensive. So, so why am I telling you all of this? Well, with all this computing power around the globe, it makes sense we try and put it to good use. Now, now don't get me wrong, gaming is really important. It prevents our minds from melting from, from all the boredom we're going to experience over the next six, maybe, maybe more months. But that being said, we do have a global pan- well, I, I don't know if I'm able to say that word either here on YouTube, but we do have a global P-something-demic going on, so if there's something us gamers and hackers can do to help, it's worth giving it a shot. You see, there is a new way to donate your unused GPU power to help the hunt for new drugs to help fight the CV. Allow me to explain. Folding at Home, if you're not familiar, is a distributed computing project for disease research that simulates protein folding. The whole idea being that designing new drugs used to be a trial and error process, but now, now you can do it with computers. We can simulate how proteins fold, and this can help us design new drugs. Protein folding is happening all the time in your body, but viruses use this process too, to replicate. But here comes the catch. Protein folding is seriously computationally expensive. It takes a ton of GPU power to do, and, and here's, where, here's where you come in. With folding at home, you can donate your unused GPU power to help us understand how these proteins fold and help us fight the virus. Now, this doesn't mean giving up gaming at all. You can set this tool to only use your GPU when you're not using it. So, for example, when you're fast asleep and you wouldn't be using your computer anyway. The only cost to you is the electricity you're using, because it uses the hardware you've already got. So the main cost to you has already been made. You've already got the equipment, it's just sitting there doing nothing. So let's put it to use. If we all do this, this can help build a worldwide, global, distributed supercomputer. So all you need to do to get started is to go to foldingathome.org. Tap Start Folding Now, then Download Now, They've got clients for Mac, Windows, and Linux, so that there really, there really is no excuse. Install is really straightforward. You just keep on hitting next till it's, till it's done. Once installed, navigate to clients.foldingathome.com in your browser. Now, in order to join the fight against the, so, I mean, CV, CV, in order to join the fight against CV, you will need to select any disease here. This will default to the CV. Though there are also options for cancer, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and Parkinson's. When this is all over, you can switch to something else. You can also select how much computational power you want to donate, as well as whether you only want to run when your computer is idle, or when you're using it. Now, it just so happens that there's a ton of people signing up to Folding at Home at this point, so their servers are... well, they're doing some catching up. They're setting up a bunch of new servers to help cope with the demand. So, at the time of recording, they are having some issues. Your clients may not be able to connect. Though, by the time you're watching this video, by the time you've downloaded the, the program, chances are they will have fixed the issue entirely. If you right-click the Folding at Home icon in your taskbar and tap Advanced Control, you'll be able to see a bunch of information, including your folding slots. This will be any CPUs or GPUs you have installed in your system. You can also see the progress of the current work unit your computer is working on. A work unit, as I understand it, is a standardized unit of work, used to calculate how much processing power you've donated over what time. So more processing power equals getting through more work units faster. Though, though bear in mind, I'm no folding at home expert. I literally discovered folding at home was doing this this morning, and I figured I, I had to pump out a video on this 
a ASAP. If you tap viewer, you can see the current protein you're working on as well as some stats. Now again, there are some connection issues, which is why it's just showing a demo protein here. So this is a great way for hackers and gamers alike to help rise up and donate some level of computing power to the fight against CV. Because let's be honest, normal people's computers really aren't that powerful. It's us gamers and hackers that really, really hold the power in this case. And of course, when you do get back to your game, when you do boot up Steam, whatever tickles your pickle, you'll have a, a warm fuzzy feeling knowing that you've really, really earned that gaming sesh. Now, if you're wondering, is this snake oil? Does this actually help? Is it just a placebo to help us, you know, think we're you know, doing something? Well, just just Google it and you'll find tons of success stories all over the internet. So, so this is a real thing and it does really make a difference. Also, it may not be as important. In fact, it definitely isn't as important, but Maltronics.com is a site run by me and has some of the coolest hobbyist hacking hardware you can find anywhere on the internet. We have bad USBs capable of injecting keystrokes at lightning speed, running whatever you want on a target computer in a matter of seconds, the authors capable of demonstrating vulnerabilities in the Wi-Fi protocol, and much, much more. So check it out in the description, maltronics.com. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you I hope you take action based on based on this video. There's literally no reason why you shouldn't. Like it cost, might cost you what an extra few an extra dollar a day on electricity? Like, what is that really? But anyway, make sure to follow me on the social medias. Uh, Instagram is the one I'm most active on. I post daily updates on what's going on behind the scenes, uh, lockdown in the UK, how that's going. It's going to be a very interesting few months, to say the least. And I'm, I try to be very interactive with my viewers, so I'll likely answer your DMs if you, if you shoot me a message. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Other than that, stay safe, guys, and I hope to see you in a new video very shortly. Have a good one.